The Redfern Statement offers a blueprint for change. For far too long, there have been numerous reports that have gathered dust in the halls of Parliament, Canberra and other places. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people deserve much better. It's time for Australia to address the burden of trauma that has been passed down from generation to generation among our people. Trauma affects the way that we think, act and behave and comes at enormous social and economic cost. At least 50% of all Aboriginal people have some form of disability or long-term health condition. Yet despite this, the needs of the vast majority of Aboriginal people with disability remain largely unmet. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander incarceration rates are worse now than at the time of the Royal Commission into Aboriginal deaths in custody. Our young people between the ages of 10 to 17 are 26 times more likely to be in incarceration than their non-Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander counterparts. Aboriginal family violence prevention and legal services turn away up to 30 to 40% of women contacting our services for their safety because our work is significantly underfunded. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children are being removed from their families, culture and their communities at almost 10 times the rate of non-Indigenous children. It's a national crisis. However, we believe that we have the solutions. We have the solutions to the problems that are faced by many of our people in our communities. We have the solutions. 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 We know in our communities that we have the solutions. We have Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peak bodies who've been working with communities and individuals for 30 and 40 years. We're asking the government to listen to us through the Redfern Statement so that it provides a better future for our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities. Thank you.